A film that's destined to be a cult classic is headed to the middle of theater. And join me today to talk about Jones Plantation is Maurice Johnson. Maurice, thank you for joining me today. Hey, I'm happy to be home. Yeah, yeah it's like a homecoming, right? <laughs> it 2019 is. 2019 was the last time we were together. That's right, that's right. Yeah. Back in the CSRA. Yeah. So. so since then, what have you been doing? Well, we've been, uh, unfortunately, right now we're on a strike. But prior to that, even during the pandemic, um, I shot about six, six or seven films. And this is one of them. So uh, we shot this in uh, 2022 down in Natchez, Mississippi, in uh, Fairday, Louisiana. So shout out to all of the Mississippi and Louisiana folks. But uh, shot this film down there in January. And now it's unveiled to the, to the world. And you said this is not your normal plantation film. So what makes it different? Definitely. Um, I think uh, we probably have over 30 or 40,000 people that have responded to uh, our YouTube trailers and seen the film. So it kind of gives you Django-ish, you know, vibes, Pulp Fiction vibes. But um, it's been compared to like Viva Vendetta, okay. if you remember that, uh, The Matrix. Uh, so this film is totally not what you expect. And my character is totally not what you expect. Yeah. So uh, my character, Mr. Smith, is somebody that will be etched in everyone's brains. Um, this will probably follow me 20 years from now. Wow. <laughs> so <laughs> okay. one of my most uh, memorable characters yeah. that I played. So what attracted you to this particular role in this film? Wow, uh, was initially I wasn't gonna take what I thought was a plantation film. Yeah. As soon as I read the script, as, as soon as I uh, saw the character breakdown, I realized this wasn't a plantation film, mm -hmm. but this is the backdrop of, um, I'll sprinkle a little tidbit, um, this is a backdrop of what we are seeing right now in America. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So this is gonna wow some people, it's gonna make people think. Uh, I would definitely jump out and say that this is the most, this is probably the deepest film that you've seen in the last 10 years. Mm. That's a strong statement. It is, it okay. is. Are you sure you can back it up? Huh? I can back it up, <laughs> okay, I can back it up. Okay. So very strong performances, um, amazing cinematography. Uh, the backdrop, of course, was authentic. We were actually on, like, plantations. You know, and, that, and how was that, actually being on a plantation? Uh, it was surreal. This was my second time. Um, I shot a film down in Savannah, um, The Cricket Dance. Um, mm -hmm. That was a couple years ago. And so I said, huh, don't know about the plantation films and, you know, whatever. But um, the meaning of this film is, is bigger. Um, and so that's why it was necessary. And so being there, I mean, it, it connects you with Natchez, uh, which reminds you of Augusta. So we're right up from Savannah. Natchez is right up from um, on the huge Mississippi River uh, right there on um, coming up from New Orleans. And so it's almost identical to where we sit, you know, um, kind of on the river or whatever. Um, of course, those were the biggest slave ports and then came up the river. Natchez was uh, the richest place in America at that time. And so that nostalgia, some of those things we captured in the production. But, um, and I wanted to be authentic with my character. But then we bridged the gap. You know, we, 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 we bridged the gap with um, bringing in a lot of, you know, messages that's in this film. So most people have watched this film two to three times. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, how were you able to prepare for this particular role? I did a lot of research, um, even growing up, um, and I think number one, going to my HBCU, um, some of my teachers at uh, Glen Hills, uh, we talked about a lot about slavery, about you know um, civil rights movements, about um, just you know our lineage as a people, and so I put all of that that authenticity in there. But then also, I said, what did I want to play? So mm -hmm. I'm an actor, and I it was my job to develop this character. And so I turned this character. Um, he's he's very polished. He's suave. He's um, articulate. Uh, he's yeah, I've seen the trailer. Uh, cunning. Yeah. yeah. So he, all of those different things. So you're going to both love and hate my character. So um, it's very rare that a film is driven by the villain. Mm -hmm. And so you're going to both love and hate me. Yeah. And then you're going to also fall in love with the other characters that we develop. And this yep. is an independent film? Yep, this is a 100% independent film. So right now, since we're on strike, we're not able to, um, I have a few other films that I can't talk about uh, right now, so we can't promote any of those films. This is a 100% independent film. It was 100% crowdfunded uh, by followers and backers, and so they have pr pushed and you know propelled this film you know out to where it is right now. So we released it um, on a virtual um, premiere about a couple weeks ago. Mm -hmm. And so now we've actually been going to different cities, just like um, Augusta. We've actually gone to these cities and actually done screenings here. Wow. And so in a lot of different theaters. But now we're going to be at the Miller Theater right here in CSRA. So um, I think it's twelve or 1,300 seats. So I expect all of them filled. And so. you said this is going to be your <laughs> first time being in the Miller. Yeah, this is my first time ever being in the Miller. Yeah. Okay. In my life. So being from here, this is nostalgic. So um, as a kid, uh, going up and down Broad Street, I would see the Miller, you know, was never open, you know, hadn't been renovated or whatever. And so, you know, I've talked to the, you know, 
the general manager and others that's over the Miller. And, you know, so I look forward to going to it. Hopefully I can view it today. So, <laughs> <laughs> but if not next Saturday, next Saturday on the ninth, definitely uh, it's going to be an amazing feat. So definitely. So with the indie films, do you think um, you're able to cover different topics with the indie films as opposed to mainstream means? I think so. Maybe um, just like this film, a lot of things that Hollywood wouldn't green light, mm -hmm. I think this is our opportunity now. And I think we're ahead of the game, maybe probably about a year ahead of the game of a push for independent films. So it's all about the funding, um, getting our voices out, getting our um, stories told, and I'm glad we were able to do this. So since we shot this a year ago, all eyes are on us. Nothing yeah. is out right now. Um, the networks, the um, streaming services are looking for content, and we have content. Yeah. So now we're able to push and get all eyes on us. So uh, the Jones Plantation film will be talked about for years, and then also with the elections that's coming up. Um, it's so many different things, economics, the government, um, the parties. This film talks about all of that. Wow. Yep, uh, we went from chateau slavery back then. Now we have economic slavery. We have debt slavery. We have, um, it's a mental slavery, slavery that we have right now. Yeah, because I was going to ask you about, about that. Are we still in slavery right now, even though it doesn't look the way that it looked before? You got to come see Jones Plantation. Oh, okay. That's how I'm going to answer that. Oh, uh, that's what's <laughs> up. Okay. Well, speaking of that, when's the screening, the date and time? And dates and times um, at the Miller Theater um, on Broad Street. Uh, this will be Saturday, uh, September the 9th. And this will be seven o'clock is the um, is the screening time. Uh, we will have a meet and greet um, from six to seven. So get there early, six p.m. to seven p.m. And then seven p.m. we will start the show promptly. Okay. Promptly. So not on CP time. <laughs> not on CP time. Yeah. Not on CP time. <laughs> All right. Good deal. Well, anything else you want to share with me today while you're here? Well, um, this film is amazing. Um, I'm just happy to be home. I'm just happy to be home. And this has been a dream of of mine to bring my work here to Augusta. So. Uh, the things that I experienced in Hollywood, the things that I experienced in Atlanta, the red carpet experience, I want everybody to experience that here. Yeah. And so that's why I'm glad I'm able to bring it home. So I'm looking to see my family, my friends, frat brothers and, and other dignitaries here in the, in the city, um, my old Glen Hills alumni. I expect everybody there, um, but we just want the whole city, the whole CSRA, you know, to actually come out. So we have um, people that's been buying tickets from North Augusta and over in Columbia County. And so, you know, this is going to bring everybody back downtown and we expect this to be a big event. And I want to ask you this, even though you said you can't answer, but what's next for you? What's in the future, future project? <laughs> You'll have to go on IMDb oh, okay. <laughs> and see what's coming because okay. I cannot speak of those things right now. But this is the one thing that yeah. I can push. That's what's up. Jones Plantation. Jones Plantation. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, Maurice, thank you for being here. I appreciate thank it. Thank you, brother. All right, no problem. And we'll be right back.